This is Jamie, and this is Jamie's dog and best friend, a beagle named Floppy. Like many other teenagers, Jamie has an Instagram account on which she shares photos and stories with all her friends. And like any avid pet owner, Jamie also runs an Instagram account for Floppy. On her personal Instagram, Jamie follows a wide variety of topics, but on her dog's Insta, she's a little more specific. And when Jamie is scrolling through her personal account's explore page, the posts she sees are very different from the posts on Floppy's explore page. What's the reason for this? It mainly has to do with the data Instagram collects on both accounts, full name, username, and a profile picture, a birth date for starters. Jamie has also linked her Instagram to her Facebook, which will usually send a lot more data to Instagram to add to her personal account, religious and political views perhaps, or her racial and ethnic origin. Plus, there's all the stuff Jamie posts, like selfies galore on her personal account and cute dog park pics on Floppy's account. And there's also metadata that goes along with all of these pictures. This is information about the picture collected by Jamie's phone that's not visible on the surface, like the location and date where it was taken. Based on the information embedded in this image, for example, Jamie took this photo of Floppy at noon in Central Park. Finally, there's all the data that Instagram collects about Jamie's usage. Without Jamie inputting any data directly, Instagram knows that on her personal account, Jamie follows these celebrities and hashtags. And on Floppy's account, these users and hashtags. Also, the app knows that Jamie tends to scroll from 8 to 10 p.m. She uses an iPhone with so-so battery life to access Instagram, and she has fantastic internet connection. Instagram collects and stores all of this data about Jamie's two accounts, but what makes the two feeds look so different? It all comes down to a specific algorithm powered by artificial intelligence, or AI, which is a kind of intelligence demonstrated by machines. An algorithm is a process or a sequence of steps that a computer can use to solve a problem. Instagram uses a programming language called IGQL, which stands for Instagram Query Language. IGQL automates the heavy lifting inside the algorithm to decide which posts a user sees so that human programmers can focus on the overall effect and not on the little details. There are two main steps by which Instagram picks which posts Jamie sees. First, the candidate generation stage acts like a rough draft to pick options for Jamie's posts. Then the ranking stage picks out the final posts and puts them in order so Jamie sees them as she scrolls. Instagram starts off the candidate generation stage by looking at accounts Jamie has liked or commented on before. Here are some accounts that Jamie interacted with previously on her personal account, and here are some accounts that Floppy interacted with. Instagram calls these seed accounts. Instagram uses an artificial intelligence tool called IG2Vec to find even more accounts similar to those Jamie liked or commented on before. This tool converts each keyword on an account to an ordered list of numbers, which are called vectors. Vector versions of similar words are similar to each other. IG2Vec uses these vectors to define a distance between two accounts based on how similar they are. So during the candidate generation stage, IG2Vec identifies accounts similar, or in other words, close to the seed accounts and pulls out content that these accounts engaged with or posted themselves. Then comes the most important step, filtering out the stuff no one wants to see. This includes policy violating content, misinformation, inappropriate content, or spam. After all is said and done, about 500 posts are sent downstream. Next comes stage two, the ranking stage. This stage makes use of a very important artificial intelligence tool, the neural network. A neural network is loosely inspired by the neurons in our brain. It adds together inputs it receives, weighs them, and sends them to other neurons until a final output emerges. Instagram uses this kind of neural network to rank the 500 posts that arrived from stage one, according to which posts it thinks Jamie would like to see. This ranking is done by predicting whether Jamie will like and comment on the post, or if she'll hit show fewer posts like this. The most complicated thing about the ranking system is that it's separated into three stages, to optimize for both efficiency and accuracy. It takes too much computing power to use just one neural network to rank all the top 500. So two simpler ranking systems are used. 
The first distillation method narrows it down from 500 to 150. Then in stage two, a simple neural network narrows it further to 50. Then the last neural network picks the top 25. And these 25 are the posts Jamie sees while scrolling. Instagram uses a similar process to determine which ads Jamie sees and which companies those ads come from. The algorithm gathers data from companies based on who their target audience is and how much the companies are willing to pay to reach them. It then shows ads to certain users based on their interests and similar topics. It's advertising that pays for and drives for the rest of Instagram ecosystem. So the next time you're scrolling through Instagram's explore page and ads, wondering where this content comes from, just like Jamie did, remember that it's all about algorithms and artificial intelligence working behind the scenes to personalize your Instagram experience.